हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो टूडे दिस इज द थर्ड क्लास ऑफ क्रोशे विथ मी एंड वी विल लर्न अबाउट चेन स्टिचेस दीज आर द बेसिक बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ योर क्रोशे फ्रॉम वेर यू स्टार्ट योर क्रोशे स्टिचेस सो आई हैव अ फ्यू चेन्स यूर कैप्ट मेड विथ मल्टीपल डिफरेंट साइजेस ऑफ यार्स एंड यू कैन सी हाउ वेरी नाइसली दीज स्मॉल चेन्स आर बींग मेड विद द यार्न before we start make learning how to do the chain stitches you need to learn how to hold your crochet hook and your yarn since i am right handed i tend to hold my hook in my right hand and the yarn in my left hand so i'll make a video explaining the different techniques of holding a yarn and hook later but right now i'll just explain how i do it here is how i hold my hook I hold my thumb on one side and the four other fingers on the other side and as I stitch I move my index finger to the tip of the hook so that I can control my movements more precisely as you can see in this frame my index finger is almost near the tip of the hook my thumb is on one side and the other three fingers on the other side this gives me a greater precision like this let me tell you how to hold the yarn so what i do is i pinch my yarn between my index finger and my thumb at the last stitch that was made and then i take the yarn and roll it over my pinky so that it remains tight here now i'll put my hook through the loop as i make a chain you can see how i keep moving my thumb and my index finger with each stitch that is made and i slowly loosen the yarn as so that i can make more and more stitches with it now that we have learned how to hold our yarn and our hook we can learn how to make a chain stitch don't really worry about how to use it slowly as you keep practicing you will learn how to use it and whatever technique i have taught you you will slowly learn how to adapt it to your requirement as the time goes by so let's start with the chain stitch now first you make a slip knot if you don't know how to make a slip knot i have a class before this which explains how to make a slip knot i'll share a link with you so that you can see how to make it once you have made your slip knot what you have to do is you have to take your hook put it through the loop that was made then you yarn keep the yarn that is at the working end over the hook and then slowly you pull it through the loop that was made let us try that again your hook is inside the loop then you yarn over then you pull that yarn through the loop again yarn over pull the yarn through the loop yarn over pull the yarn through the loop let us do it one last time yarn over the hook then pull the yarn through the loop as you can see when you pull the yarn through the loop your hook is already inside the loop so the next stitch you go again yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop so that you end up with a loop on your hook again yarn over so that you have two loops on your hook then pull the yarn through so that you end up with one loop on the hook i hope that is clear so let's see how it looks this is how your chain stitch is supposed to look it is supposed to make nice beautiful chains like this that's all for today folks i hope you have all understood how to do a chain stitch and i hope you will practice at home so that you will learn and become an expert at doing the chain stitch in the next video we will learn how to do a single crochet so till then goodbye hope you have a great day